In this tutorial, we will take a look at creating a custom list in SharePoint from an Excel spreadsheet. This feature will duplicate the columns and data of an existing spreadsheet. For our example, the accounting department has been maintaining an approved vendors list in an Excel spreadsheet that gets emailed every time it is updated. On their new SharePoint site, they would like to have this list available on their accounting web page so anyone can view the most current list at any time. This would also eliminate the need to email updates and trying to control the most current version their employees are using. Here is the list in Excel that we will be importing into SharePoint. After we import the information, you'll see how SharePoint will use the column headers from the Excel spreadsheet as column names in the SharePoint list. And all the rows of data will also be imported as well. So I'll close out Excel for now. So to get started here, the first thing I want to do is navigate to the accounting page. And then I'll select Site Actions, then More Options. On the left, I'll choose to filter by list. And in the choices here, I'll select Import Spreadsheet. Then on the far right, I'll click the Create button. And here is where I type in a name for my new list, which I'm going to call this Approved Vendors. In the Import from Spreadsheet area, use the Browse button to locate and select the spreadsheet file. Here's the Excel file approved vendors, and I'll select Open. And then I'll click on the Import button. The spreadsheet opens in Excel with the Import dialog box displayed. In the first range, we identify the range type. And this is how we choose how we're identifying the range of cells that we're importing into SharePoint. Range of cells allows you to select the range of cells to import manually by dragging across the spreadsheet. Table range and named range allow you to select an existing range that would have previously been defined in Excel using the select range dropdown. Neither table range or named ranges have been defined for this spreadsheet, so the select range list is empty for these choices. So for this example, I'll select range of cells. And then to select the range, I'll click on the button to the right of the range box, and then drag with my mouse to identify the range, including the column headings and all the rows of data below. A reference to the range I selected and the sheet it's on displays in the box. Then I click the button on the right to redisplay the dialog box. Then to complete the process, click the Import button. I'm prompted for my login credentials for the SharePoint site. It's already filled in. I'll just select OK. And there's the list in SharePoint. So you'll see how SharePoint used the same column headings and all the rows of data were brought in as well. Notice the SharePoint shows vendor ID as the field that links to an item. So when I click on a vendor ID number, the item window opens showing me all the fields of information. I can click on edit item if I need to go in and update any of the information for the vendor. Or I could also delete the item if I need to. So I'll just close out of here. To add a new vendor to the list, at the bottom of the list is an add new item link just like all the other SharePoint lists. Notice there is not a link to this new list in the quick launch on the left. To add a link for this list, click on the List tab at the top, and then select List Settings. Under General Settings, click on Title, Description, and Navigation. In the Navigation section, choose Yes to display a link to this list in the quick launch, and then choose Save. So now we have a link to access this list in the Quick Launch. So as you can see, this list can continue to be maintained and customized just like any other SharePoint list.